Excuse me? That was not there a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't there when we walked by the first time, so... Yeah, alright everybody, we are here today checking out a little banger by the name of Chasing Static. Now, this is something I caught wind of a couple of months back, and it seemed very, very intriguing. Now, I'm personally, myself, not a huge fan of these um, PS1 aesthetic games. Like, you know, I like the ones that come out now, that are influenced by that hi-fi, whatever it is, look. But, let's be honest, they look good because of the technology we got here today. I grew up during those PS1 days, and those games were ass ugly, man. No, you, you're you not gonna tell me all those games were good, no, no, those games were ass ugly. Games like Resident Evil at least kinda hit it by like using camera perspectives to fix cameras so they could have like, you know, basically stuff baked into the background so it made it look good. Is this like an old man yells at cloud thing, Falcon? No, no, it's not, because it, it's related to the game, because this game is gonna be done in a PS1, I guess, nostalgic type of setting, or at least, um, visually, right? It's also a game from Northern Wales, so... Any Wales bros out there, holla. Let's get to it. Excuse me? Chris, I presume? Uh, yeah. Sure. It's Evelyn? We spoke on the phone. Oh, right, sorry. I didn't recognize your voice. Oh, that's fine. I'm happy you could make it. Your father. It seems he... Well, he didn't have a lot of friends. In the end. He never did. Right. Anyway, the whore asked me to give you this. It was all they had in regards to his personal effects. A book? Huh. I'm sure there's a lot you have to process today. I apologize for being so forward. No, it's, it's fine. Honestly, um, we really weren't that close. Well... I'm sorry for your loss, Chris. Packed into the pages of this book, you will find my life's work. A means with no end. A fruitless garden. Thirty years of questions with no answers. Much like my own hollow ambitions, some things never come to fruition. I only hope that these tattered pages may serve to prove that we are more than ourselves, and that our perception of reality is merely a veil over our own ideals and hunger to understand this world. I have many regrets. The Institute is not one of them. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can speak yet. I don't want to talk over the dialogue. So I think we just went through our father's book there. Oh, glove box. Ah. Mm, that's not what was there when we drove by. Alive! You almost gave me a heart attack. Let me guess. Got lost in the storm? It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Honestly, I thought that road would never end. Ten miles of trees. And, well, more trees. Yeah, it's a killer. 
We have coffee, though. Good. I'm, uh, headed east. Oswestry. Oh, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? You hit me with the bad news always first. Ah, uh, okay. Go on, hit me with the bad news first. Fearless. I like it. Well, you missed the turning. It's like half an hour back the way you came. Oh, good. Good news is, I know the way. We'll be headed that way myself soon, anyway. Hang about, and I'll show you the way, if I can bum a lift. Sure. Uh, to be honest, I could do with the company. Wasn't looking forward to cycling in this rain, anyway. Nothing creepy, though. I'll kick your ass if you try anything. <laughs> hey, I'm just relieved to be off that road. Where are we, anyway? Welcome to the Last Stop Cafe. Best coffee this side of the A5. Don't get a lot of customers these days, though. Oh yeah, help yourself to coffee. I'll be done in five. It's uh, very trusting of you, huh? To just bum a lift with this random dude? I mean, maybe it's... Yeah. So I live I in the US, your name. So I wouldn't. Oh, it's Chris. <laughs> Chris, right. Nice and simple. Yeah. It was my dad's name. My grandfather, too. My parents weren't exactly ones to break tradition. Well, it's nice to meet you, Chris. I'm Anera. I used to know someone called Anera. It means winter, right? Close. Winter is Giaf. Anera translates to snow. Oh, my Welsh is a little rusty. Hey, I'm impressed. Most English folk can't even read the road signs. Well, neither can I, apparently. That's why we missed it. So what brings you to this neck of the woods? I... Uh... You didn't have the tip, you know. Thanks, though. I... Um... Uh... Well, I buried my dad today. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. We didn't uh, exactly see eye to eye. Yeah, my dad left when I was six. Turned up ten years later wanting to play Happy Family. Can be good, right? Again, that's the second time this week. Hold on, I've got a lighter here somewhere. There she is. See, this is why I love smokers. You wouldn't mind taking a look, would you? Fuse boxes in the back. Yeah, sure. You know. Uh, okay, I guess. Last time I was waiting four hours for an electrician. Go ahead and make your own coffee. Fix the radio for me. Fix the fuse box. So, what am I looking for here? That I came in here for, you know, service, not a job. Lights only left and right. Hey, Neira, a bunch of these fuses are fried. Should be some spares in there somewhere. And the fuse is dead. That one's not. So I guess we're just going to probably be looking for one extra one just to turn on the lights, everything else, you know, it's not my dead. We just need the lights Dead. on. So here we would use that slot. Yeah. And then we just need one more and put it at the end and our light should go back on. Let's get my lighter here. Let's get to it. Just rummaging through. I mean, this is a Nero girl is very trusting, I'd tell you. Random dude off the street. Give me a ride. Go to the back. Yeah, go behind the cash register. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't trying to steal from her when I checked the cash register. I was just, you know, doing my due diligence as a horror game and checking every little nook and cranny. I was not looking to steal. Oh, right, yeah, let me guess what to screw that for that. See, I'm even coming back and I'm apparently just breaking her drawers open, too. Hey, uh, no need to thank me or anything. Anera? Uh-oh. Just jump out this way right now and just ignore, avoid it altogether. All right, let's. Yo, jeez. Oh, that was.
was like some Wes Craven Nightmare on Elm Street stuff right there. Hmm. I mean, I did kind of get a little Silent Hill vibe when we were talking to Anira. So now it feels like we've gone full into it when we're like in the other world now in Silent Hill. Let me get my lighter out here first. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Big change here suddenly, huh? I'm not sure what's happening here, but it feels like some sort of weird, crazy time shift. There's a dude walking over there. Can we just get out of here? <laughs> From over a Saw a shadow creep up here right now, dude. From over reliable Trinity Rust Bucket, I love it. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been Chasing Static. It seems we, uh, get out of here after all. Oh, really? Oh, what, what? Oh, jeez! What? Wait, so that was supposed to happen? Like, I was gonna either chase that figure that we saw or go into the woods because that's what the thing told us not to do, so you figured you had to do it. I thought this was like a little small Easter egg, like, you know, an alternate ending where, you know, haha, but you're back in the game. Okay. I like it. I love what they've done with this. Alright, uh, let's get down here. I guess technically we don't need this right now. It's not that dark as we're outside. A bunker of some kind. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure I want to go into a bunker now. Hexagonal fixture in the center of the door mechanism. Guess what we gotta find? Excuse me? That was not there a minute ago. I guess we'll check it out afterwards. Hey, let's just go ahead and follow the creepy ass glow in the dark goo here. Shut up, bird. Well, I think we've found how we're opening that bunker, but, uh, you know, it's next to a body that's presumed to be dead. So you know what's gonna happen, right? Let me pick this up first before I pick up the item that would probably trigger the scene. Uh, Dr. Nisha Bain's, uh, Roadside Cafe. Last Stop Cafe, maybe? Quarantine Zone. So they found very strong along the Last Stop Cafe, huh? Can't even tell. It's like your head a skeleton now, or what? Oh, he didn't do it. Okay. I definitely want to go check out that red light, but I guess since we have the... ...valve for this, we might as well use it. And just walk into that place we saw that body being dragged into. Obviously nothing gonna go wrong from this. Especially if it's dark as all hell. Yes, it is. Alright, let's bring out the old lighter here. The setting of this game so far has been great though. 
It hasn't necessarily been a straight up jump scare. I'm not sure it even has jump scares. I wouldn't even qualify that little Nightmare on Elm Street type of scene that we saw. I wouldn't even call that a jump scare. It was just a scene that played out. Is that the girl? Hey! Wait! Yes, I, I have someone is here. Light. Uh, hello? Oh, God, am I happy to hear your voice. I thought you guys had left me here for dead. Does this mean we got the all clear? I can leave. Yeah, I got bad news for you. I had no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's the one. I have no idea what you're talking about. I need help. Wait. You're not from the cleanup team? No. Mm -mm. Fuck. I know. Look, I just... I was in the cafe and there was this thing. It attacked us. I just... I just want to get out of here, please. Send help. Okay. Take a minute. Tell me exactly what you saw. I... I don't know. It was... dark. Like... like some kind of nightmare. Oh, feels like I'm dreaming. Hey, hey, it, it's going to be alright. What's your name? It's Chris, but... Okay, Chris. I'm Helen. You need to listen to me. We're in a bit of trouble here. Something... bad has happened. You're going to have to trust me. I need you to do something for me. I'm from a team of researchers. Whatever you saw in the cafe, it's not real, okay? But for us to leave this place, we're going to have to work together. Have you ever experienced sleep paralysis? Uh, sure. When I was a kid, it would scare the shit out of me. Think of it like that. And your bed spans several miles. The things you see here, no matter how real they may seem, they're just broken memories. Figments of your imagination latched onto something real. Look, I'm just trying to find my way home. The only way you or I are getting out of here is if you do exactly as I say. I'm sorry, Chris, but we're in this together, whether you like it or not. <sighs> okay, fine. So what do I do? There are three sites, each with a device engineered to secure and contain the surrounding area. Several days ago, these devices failed. Simultaneously, each site was disconnected from the array. You're going to have to manually reboot the simulcast devices to relink the array. Uh, honestly, I struggle with the VCR. I I'm not exactly qualified. <laughs> Think of this as more of a hi-fi. Just hit the power and press the big green button. It's that simple. Uh, okay, how will I know where these things are? Each link has a fail-safe signal for that exact reason. Easily tracked with a displacement device. But there should be one there in the orchard. Go careful, Chris. It's quite a bit of uh, responsibility you put upon us, huh? Sleep paralysis. Uh, this is crazy. Is this that device you mentioned? Um, I think I've had one instance in my entire life of sleep paralysis. It was the creepiest thing, man. I mean, at least I think it was. Like, I this is where it came in from, right? Yes. I remember waking up, this was like, I don't know, I was like maybe 12 or something, and I woke up with this intense fear, dread, convinced that an insurmountable amount of weight had been dropped on me as a child, and I could not get it off, and I remember getting out of the bed, running to 
my parents' room and just like a madman being like almost in the verge of tears telling them I can't hold I can't um hold up the weight. I can't hold up the weight help and they were like, What are you talking about? And I'm just there like panicking. I can't hold up the weight. I can't hold up the weight and eventually I, I guess I came out of it or something. But it was the most eerie thing to like I've had nightmares before, obviously, you think we've all had, but that was, like, surreal, like... What the fuck? Which was apparently one of these semitic dudes, uh, torn apart and crucified. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't there when we walked by the first time, so... Not sure how crazy I am about this one. Side B observation report, day 16. Two sightings, one sighting. Weather... Outside village store in Wick Lane. Humanoid appearance, dark translucency. Observe at distance. She could be coming up on it now. It's like he's playing with us. I've been doing my little the signal is moving, like my presence is disturbing. Sasha wasn't at the meeting point. The orchard's still empty, and it could have been my hand over six hours ago. Oh, and on top of that, Tom's is still there. It's been eight hours now. Oh, we got something here. Got it. Right into the water. Why? Why are you doing this? No! Let him go! The light! It's a short in the hair! We must help him pass. Nah, dude, you dead ass just drowned that man. Please. Yeah, nothing like creepy ass cultists too. So there's like two of them, two captors, and one of them was apparently tied down watching the other dude get drowned. However, we don't know if those were part of the research team that was here. That's just like it's so another thing altogether. Undiscovered key items remain in this area. Okay, well, we made it back to the last stop cafe, at least, so that's good. So we have undiscovered items here still. Well, okay, this is good because, I mean, I never intended to leave this area. I didn't want to search it. You know, I would just trigger that card thing altogether. We saw the image of some dude, it seemed like walking off that way. And there's apparently here some things for us to check out, so we'll probably go that afterwards. Right now, we got. Obviously more of this green ooze that can't be good. It's a TMNT mutagen. How are you so calm? This is serious. Like, really fucking serious. Downtime at this day with all three sites compromised. Damn it, which one was it? We're looking at irreversible damage. That's all I'm saying. I just don't get it. How does the stuff go down within minutes of one another? The chances of a simultaneous system failure is so... Are you even listening? Do you hear it? They're calling us. Sam! They don't like it here. They want it back. What the hell are you talking about? Come on, help me find the truth. Yeah, I get the feeling I know what happened to you. Sam went apparently absolutely not so. Hmm. Well, I mean, we know where there is a cassette player, but it also mentioned that the battery was depleted, so we still gotta find a battery to actually listen to this. Alright. 
Well, unfortunately, we're gonna have to call it here for now just because I am out of time. I've already gone long enough for this one as it is. But so far, I'm actually quite intrigued. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed it, want to see a bit more, you know what to do. Otherwise, all the information for this will be down below in the description. Again, we're doing this as little one-shots for Spooktober, but I am intrigued enough that I wouldn't mind doing some more. So as long as you guys want to see some more, let me know. If there's enough interest, we could definitely come back and do a little bit more of this. I guess we probably got to go back inside now we got the noise thing, huh? Or follow where the figure went. Yeah, that's true. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.